Hi, this video is about one of the big six queries, which is a group by query. Before going to the group by query, we have to first write the aggregation query because otherwise group by query wouldn't work for you. So we will go quickly through the aggregate um, functions, aggregate queries like counting the values, the sum, making the sum of the values or mean of the values. It's kind of descriptive analysis in the statistics. Before going to group by, we're going to see if quickly that one and then go to the group by. But first, I would love to show you the data set. It's a publicly available data set that, that I have created and post it in the Kaggle that you can download it if you want to work on this data set and use uh, create here a new table if you are interested to understanding in understanding like how to create the employee table here as I did you can go through my previous lectures in this playlist and see that video it's complete completely free uh, completely easy so I urge you to see that video too if you are interested to your work with this data set so let's go we cannot let, let imagine that if you would love to know what is the the average pay for males and females in the company how would we do that if we write group by gender name of the column it's gonna give error it doesn't work I'm not sure do we have the log of the error the log says log says look uh, let me show you the log of the error The log of the error says the expression select list is not grouped by clause, contains non aggregated column company employee row ID. Non aggregated column, what does it mean, non aggregated column? That means that there is a column that is not aggregated. So you, we are selecting all the columns that are not aggregated. So what the SQL should take into consideration in order to aggregate and give you two values grouped by gender what to do it doesn't understand what you could do let's say we told that we would love to do now the the average pay by 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 the by the gender so we can write the average in different sql dialects it might be different so don't panic if you, if for you average doesn't work in this way or other way just google it you'll find the answer mostly it's it's the same but you can always have this potential problem which is not a, a big problem but still you need to take into consideration so we would love to get the average of pay for gender let's run this one as you see now we have the, the average of P for the for the values like if we are go, we, but we don't understand which one is the gendered male and which one is the female that's why we are selecting also the gender that we are aggregating for and here's it the males are getting 79,000 of the salary of Meanwhile, the females are getting 82,000 of uh, salary. It's almost the same salary. However, there's another concept that I would love to bring into your attention. It's allies. So as you see, it's it's not that nice to see the average and the, in the parentheses to see the in the brackets to see the pay. We would love to get the decent name for this. That's why we are writing average P and we are writing S average average P. 
that's the value we'd love to know we'd love to see so we have the average pay for gender male and for gender female hope this video was useful for you if you have any question any any doubts about this query if you would love to know more about the some topics that you would love to study or if you have difficulties with, with some exercises or with some um, tasks you can always read, uh, leave a comment and I will try to make a video for that as soon as possible I will try to explain you please um, don't forget to subscribe it's important for me to know that you are my videos are valuable that you are getting the value out of my video and uh, you're really interested this is the only way how can you, you how you can show your interest just subscribe or leave a comment and share with your friends if you don't have any like you have if you have missed some parts of this query queries for example the selecting part or how to create the schemas and the tables you can always go back in my previous videos and find there the video dedicated to that topics have a nice one and see you on the next video